Lots of folks believe that if the devil showed up, they'd recognize him right away. I don't believe that at all. Flew on his jet in midtown, he wore a shiny silk suit. He was an orange-colored guy no one would ever call cute. His hair was clearly not right, transplants or maybe a rug. Was not the cuddly type that might give babies a hug. Though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they were convinced that they would recognize the devil when he came. said how pro-life he'd be, though he had not been before. He said, you leave it to me and everyone will have more. He said corruption was done. He said that crime would just stop. Said he could clean up the place if we'd just give him the mop. Though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they were convinced that they would recognize the devil when he came. said, those folks that are brown just don't belong in this place. I'll send them back where they're from because it's such a disgrace to have to hear foreign voices right outside of your door. And they're just here for free stuff and they'll just keep wanting more. Though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they were convinced that they would recognize the devil if he came. He launched attacks on the press, but said he valued free speech. He claimed to be close to God, but oh, what hate he could preach. He said if shooters attacked a school, he might run inside. But during Vietnam, he used a phony reason to hide. Though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they were convinced that they could recognize the devil if he came. said his slogan would be always America first while many patriotic citizens he treated the worst he said he'd never waste time with clubs approaching a T but that's exactly where so often you would find him to be though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game they were convinced that they could recognize the devil if he came racist attack, he felt compelled to proclaim, the Nazis in the crowd should surely not get stuck with the blame, when Kim Jong-un threatened hell would drop on us from above, he told us from for some crazy reason now he'd fallen in love, though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they still naively thought they'd recognize the devil when he came. appearance on Fox, they always give him a pass to say whatever he felt, to pull thoughts straight from his ass. Although the bulk of those thoughts had come from Sean Hannity, Donald believed that they were his because of his vanity. Though at the peak of their power and at the top of their game, they still naively thought they'd recognize the devil when he came. If he was quoted or taped, and later on changed his views, you could feel certain he would paint it all as merely fake news. When faced with something immense, like a pandemic disease, he said, don't bother me, I'll have another burger with cheese. Though at the peak of their power, and at the top of their game, they still naively thought they'd recognize the devil when he came. And so we've come to this point where things are going to hell. Although from Lucifer's perspective, things are going quite well. 
The world is down in a rut Where folks are dropping like flies But Donald's so excited Cause his TV ratings are high Though some might call them naive While others say that they're dumb Some U.S. citizens seem unaware The devil has come Thanks for listening.